to discuss the complete existence, all that exists, isn't it? But it does take time for us to explore into this reality. So we have just began this journey in these three days. The three days are not sufficient to explore each and every part of the proposal. So generally we have workshops at various levels. This is just an introductory workshop. Then you can come to a higher level workshop that we call as UHV2 workshop. Then we can go for UHV3 workshop. Then we are able to understand the self and the existence better. But I'll just uh, give a glimpse here of all that we have to understand. So now we are going to talk about existence. And if you see on the book and in every uh, uh, page that we have, we have written something like this. So the basic question for a human being is, what is my role, my value in existence? Isn't it? So as a human being, what is my role in this existence? So existence, if you see, it is, this is something that we have tried by ourselves. It is not there in the dictionary. Yeah. Exist plus essence. So existence is whatever exists. So exist means to be, that is there. And essence means, if you look at it, the essence of this whole existence is harmony, <coughs> mutual fulfillment. How it is that we can explore? So existence, we can see by observation, by pure observation that the whole existence is coexistence. Now, so far, when we were talking about the individual, the family, society, nature, we were talking about units. A human being is a unit, this projector is a unit, this building is a unit, our vehicle is a unit, isn't it? All these are units. But there is another reality in existence that is space. We can see that there is space in the hall. There is space between me and you. You can make out my face clearly because there is space between my eyes and nose, isn't it? So space is something which is there everywhere, even within my body there is space. Even in this pointer, there is space. So if you can see, you will see that all these units are there in space. The space is inside the unit. The space is on the surface of the unit. The space is outside the unit. There is no point in the existence where there is no space. Everywhere there is space. The whole planet is there in space. The whole solar system is there in space. All the galaxies are there in space. There could be millions of galaxies. And all these are there in space. So this is also something to be understood. And gradually you can see that when I understand this space, then only I am able to understand the units in totality, in completeness. So the proposal is that the units are submerged in space. Now what is the meaning of this submergence? This is something that we can explore in brief. For so the units are there, the space is there. All these units are limited in size. For example, the body is limited in size for each one of us. I am also limited in size. I am here. You are there. You are there. So all of us have a size. We are limited in size. But the space is there everywhere. Isn't it? It is all pervading. No limit. It is there everywhere. Is that true? We can also see that every unit is an activity in itself. Like the body is an activity in itself. And the body is active with other units. When I am communicating to you, my body is getting active with you. The body is active with the air. I am breathing in, breathing out. Isn't it? So every unit, this pointer is active with you know, the whole presentation and the whole room. This camera is active, the projector is active, the screen is active, you are active. All these units are active. The human order, the animal order, the bio order, the physical order, all these units are active within oneself and also active with other units. While this, act, this space is no activity, there is no activity in space. The space is very much there without any limit. You know? It is all pervading but has no activity. We can see that all these units are there in space and they are energized being in space. So the body has energy. You know? We have energy. The food that we took has energy. 
I have energy, you have energy. How come we are energized all the time? Being in space. Only that energy goes up and comes down. That may happen. The energy may rise or fall. That may happen. But the energy is very much there. When I am full of enthusiasm, I have high level of energy. When I am depressed, I have low level of energy. That can happen. Before lunch, the body had less energy. Now that we have consumed food, it had more energy. But ultimately, every unit has energy. And it is energized being in space. Every unit is self-organized being in space. If you look at the body as we were discussing yesterday, the body is a self-organized unit. This pointer is a self-organized unit. These lights are self-organized. If there is current, they will glow. If the current is not there, they will not glow. The body, we just put in food in the lunch time. And the body is taking care of the food. It's not that we have to push it inside, put here, put there, no. <laughs> the body is working by itself. We are just breathing in air. The rest of the things are being taken care of the body. The food that we consumed, it grew as a plant. The plant is a self-organized unit. This building is self-organized. And we just put the pillars rightly and the building keeps standing. If you do not put the pillar rightly, the building may fall. It is a self-organization. So you can see that every unit in the nature is self-organized. Yeah. We're talking about units. Talking about units. Yeah. And it is self-organized. Yeah. Uh, how do we justify it? So the. See, we can for example, the you started that this building is a or this room is a unit. Yeah. Uh, how do we justify that or convince me as this unit or this space? I mean, this uh, room is self-organized. Yeah. So the room you can see as a. Structure. Organized, maybe I. Conceive a different meaning, but still uh, 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 that doesn't go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, that is fine. So, how did the room get built up? So, we took mud, made the mud into bricks, put the bricks one top atop the other, and the building got erected. We made a roof, the roof is you know, resting on the walls. This is there as a self organized unit. If it was not the case, if in place of having four walls, we had just one wall and put the roof on the top, the building would have fallen. So the building is there as a self-organized unit. There is a particular way in which the building stands erect. There is a particular way in which our body grows. There is a particular way in which the plant grows. The plant starts as a seed, grows into a sapling, then a plant, then a tree, and then goes back to the soil in a self-organized manner. Uh, maybe can I take it this way, when, I, when you say self-organized, the four walls are needed and the ceiling is needed. That's what is self. Not it, it uh, gets built by its own uh, self, no. So the building doesn't have a self? Is it nature or man-made? Self-organized is man, this building is man-made. But I speak about the human body. What does man-made mean? Man-made means that it is already there in nature, with our imagination, we make some structure. The soil was there, the cement was there, water was there, we just put it together. Yeah. And the way we put it together, if you understand the self-organization, it works as we desire, otherwise it doesn't work. If I have to make the vehicle run, I have to make the engine in a particular manner, otherwise the engine will not run. It cannot be self like this man-made car. I can just pursue me because plants grow by nature. So we don't have to put anything, it will grow. Humans, likewise, right, we have our own way of growth. But uh, the cars, buildings, they're all made by somebody. Yeah. Then how we can put it post it as How do we make it? Maybe you are talking about the raw materials? Everything, the process, yeah, the raw that materials. That may be self, because the soil is there available in self. You are not making it. I mean, that's what my... We are able to make the buildings when we understand the organization of the brick and the building and the mortar, then only we are able to make the building. We are able to make the vehicle when we understand the organization of the fuel and the oil and the and iron and the steel and all those things. Then only we are able to make. Generally, yes. Generally, comes under self Yes, yes. So by understanding this only, we are able to, or recognizing this correctly, we are able to utilize it properly. 
Similarly, you can see that every unit being in nature, being in space, recognizes its relationship and fulfills the relationship with every other unit being in space. So, we all are related. How come we are related? So, through a space we are related. You are human, I am human, we are very much related. I am human, this is a material unit, we are related. So, through space, every unit is related to every other unit. And it's not only related, we are recognizing and fulfilling also. The walls stand, the roof rests from the wall, because the roof has a particular relation with the wall. You know, it is recognizing and fulfilling. There is no decision making in the wall, because it is a material unit. There is no decision making in the body, it is a material unit. But still the body is recognizing the relationship with the food, with the air, with the water and fulfilling it. That's how the body grows. So you can see that being in space, every unit is energized, every unit is self-organized, every unit is recognizing the relationship and fulfilling it. Put it all together, we can say that every unit is submerged in space. They say that we are, we are getting energy from the sun. The earth is getting energy from the sun. Then where is the sun getting energy from? So we may say that there is fusion taking place. Hydrogen is turning into helium. That's how the sun is getting energy. Now from where the hydrogen is getting energy? Then again we have to say no, hydrogen has energy. Isn't it? So similarly every unit has energy. So this is something that we need some more time to investigate, to explore, because our orientation is to look towards units, isn't it? But when it comes to understanding space, that may require some more time. So it is just an initiation of the exploration. We have placed it because it is a part of the proposal, but we need some more time to investigate it. Now, having understood this, we can have a complete picture of existence, what all exists. So the existence is there as coexistence. Units are submerged in space. The space is all pervading, being unlimited in size, being no activity. While the units are limited in size, they are activity and active. Every unit is self-organized, energized, and recognizing the relationship and fulfilling it. Now if you look at all the units of the nature, there are of two kinds, consciousness and material. Like the body is a material unit and the consciousness. So the material units you can see are temporary. Temporary means their constitution keeps on changing. The conscious unit is continuous. I remain as a conscious unit. The body, you can see, goes back to the soil. So the body is temporary. The physical facilities are temporary. All the units in the nature that we see as material units are temporary. Here we only have the activity of recognizing and fulfilling, but in the consciousness, we have the activity of knowing, assuming, recognizing and fulfilling, as you could see when we are talking about the human being. Now, if you look at the material units, they are organized in two orders. One is the physical order, the other is the bio order. The physical order, if you see, the smallest unit which is self-organized is atom. An atom, hai na? a self-organized unit. Atoms combine to make molecules. Molecules combine to make molecular structures. Now, whole physics and chemistry that we study is ultimately about this. Now, the molecular structures are of two kinds, lump and fluid. For example, this building is a lump. Water is fluid. Air is fluid. Now, the fluid has a particular composition by which it makes a cell. So, if you leave a water body just like that, after some time you find algae you know, growing on the water surface. So the cells get formed out of the fluid. If there is some collection of water behind your house, some algae will form. So the cells form. Now a proper composition and decomposition of cells makes a plant. Another kind of composition and decomposition of the cells makes an animal body. Another kind makes a human body. So our body is the same as animal body, is the same as plant because there is 
इट इज देयर इन द बायो ऑर्डर एज अ प्लांट ग्रोज आवर बॉडी ग्रोज है ना एज अ प्लांट रिकोगनाइजन फुलफिल्स आवर बॉडी ऑल्सो रिकोगनाइज एंड फुलफिल्स द सेम वे वी कैन सी फॉर द बॉडी ऑफ एन एनिमल और बर्ड Now, when this consciousness unit coexists with the animal body, it makes the animal order. So you can see that in the animal order, we have consciousness as well as an body. In the plant, there is no consciousness. Now, this raises many pertinent questions, you know, because since childhood we have been taught that plant has life, plant has feelings. Whether it is true or false, we have to investigate. Because we can study and see that the plant doesn't have con consciousness. The animal has consciousness. We have consciousness. So the animal body coexists with the consciousness to make the animal order. The human body coexists with the consciousness to make the human order. Now we are here as a human order, and there is potential to know in the human order. When I utilize that potential rightly through this process of self-exploration, I am able to ensure right understanding, right feeling, and. With the understanding and feeling that I have, I am able to enable definite conduct in me. My conduct is definite. That is to say, my behavior, my work, it is mutually fulfilling all the time. My behavior is always in terms of justice. My work is always in terms of universal human order. To that extent, I can develop as a human being. You can also see that here in the physical order or bio order, everything is cyclic. The atoms make the molecules. Molecules make the molecular structures. They make the fluid or lump. You make a tall building of 200 stories. Tomorrow the earthquake comes to 8.5 Richter scale. The building goes back to the soil, isn't it? So it is cyclic. If you see, there are so many videos of bombarding taking place in you know, Hamas and there. You can see how tall buildings are crushing to the ground, going back to the soil. It is all cyclic. The plant grows into a tree. Tree goes into a big, you know, tree with so many branches, and after some time, it may go back. It goes back to the soil. It may be there for 500 years, but ultimately goes back to the soil. So this is all cyclic here. The only a cyclic process in the nature is here in us. <coughs> If I understand something rightly, I never forget it. It can never go back. I can never go back to the initial state. If I am able to see very clearly that I am not the body, I am the self coexisting with the body, this knowledge continues in me. If I am able to see very clearly that every other human being wants to make me happy, this knowledge, this knowing continues in me. It is there forever with me. So if you see this, you are able to see that the only process in the nature that is acyclic is this right understanding, right living, and. Right? And that's how this is development. This cannot be development. It goes back to the soil. We make a tall building. The building goes back to the soil. The tree goes back to the soil. Our body goes back to the soil. Howsoever research we may conduct on our body, it has to go back to the soil. We may try to live for 125 years, isn't it? Now researches are going on. They are trying to transplant every part of the body, so that one may live for, you know, hundred odd years. Isn't it? There is a story that a person thought that I should live forever. So he was. This is only a story. He learned from somewhere that there is a river. If you drink the water of the river, you will always be there. Okay, the body will continue. So he went to that river. So when he was going to take the water from the river, he found a bird you know, lying by the side, and the bird was simply crying. Then he asked the bird, "What has happened?" This is only story. You know what has happened? <laughs> he said that never drink that water. Now I, I want to leave my body. I am not able to leave my body. <laughs> It is anyway temporary. We need not look for solutions where the body can subsist forever. That is not required. What is required is I need to develop the right understanding, right feeling. That is going to continue in me. If I can see this, I'll see that everything else is already in harmony. Only I have to ensure harmony in me. So the major takeaway from here is that I do not have to create harmony in the existence, in the nature, in the society. I don't have to create it. Already there is harmony in the existence. Already every human being naturally accepts harmony. Only I have to align with it and help others align with it. That is very simple. The task is very simple. It's not that we have to transform the whole world. 
it appears like a Himalayan task. No, I only have to give the right proposal to the other. The other naturally accepts the right proposal and help the other understand and explore. That's all. If I'm able to understand this, the task of education is very natural. So to sum it up, I'll say that existence is there in the form of coexistence. They will have some in space. Every unit in the existence is related to every <coughs> other unit in the existence in a mutually fulfilling manner. Synergy is there. The role of human being is to realize the coexistence and to live accordingly. And for this, all that we need to do is to understand it and live accordingly. We can also see that there is every provision in the nature, in the existence to live accordingly. But we could explore more given some more time. We just have opened this. So what we are saying that ultimately I have to be here. This is ensured by realization of coexistence, understanding of coexistence. So this is ultimately the coveted state in which you want to be, the desired state. When I am always in harmony within because my complete imagination is guided by right understanding of the whole existence. This is excellence. This is the state in which we really want to be, our basic aspiration. See, realization of coexistence, understanding of harmony and contemplation of relationship is what is we need to awaken to. We need to awaken to the higher level activities in me for which I already have the potential, but only that I am not working for it. So this was just introductory FDP. In VHV 1, we have the student orientation to VHV 2. VHV. In VHV 2, we discuss the harmony at all these four levels in detail and also talk about the ethical conduct. And there are six more courses for minor degree in VHV. So, and now I will sum it up the whole thing that we have discussed in the two and a half days in brief. So, as we said in the beginning, value is participation in the larger order. So I have my role in the family, I have my role in the society, I have my role in the organization. This is my value. <coughs> value of your body is participation in your activities as a human being. Similarly, we have value in the family, we have value in the society. So we have our participation. When we go back home and people are eagerly waiting for us to arrive, we are valuable to the family. The moment we go home, everybody closes the door. <laughs> We are not valuable to the family. <laughs> so our participation in the family, when you are there in the college, everybody feels happy, now he's here. And looking at you, everybody turns one back, <laughs> trying to avoid. Then we are not valuable in the organization. So our role, our participation in the larger unit is our value. So for example, if I'm in some organization, what role do I play? Does the organization become more harmonious with my presence? Is the society around me becoming more harmonious because of my presence? Is the nature around me becoming more greener and you know, fulfilled by my presence? That is my value as a human being. So these are the values that we discussed. So we could see that existence is coexistence. So in essence, all that we have discussed so far is an elaboration of coexistence. This is the value at the level of existence. In the nature, we could see that there is mutual fulfillment. This is the value at the level of nature. In society, we talk about four goals. Right understanding, right feeling in every individual, prosperity in every family, fearless in society, you know, coexisting in the existence. So this is the value at the level of society. Similarly, we talked about relationship in the family. Trust, respect, up to love. <laughs> These are values in relationship, in the family. Health, this is the value at the level of individual. And within the self, we can see that when I'm able to have the contemplation of relationship, when I'm able to understand the harmony, when I'm able to realize the coexistence, I'm in a state of continuous happiness. So this is the value within the self. We assign some words like bliss, satisfaction, peace, happiness. These are ultimately you know, components of continuity of happiness. When I'm able to see the whole existence as it is, it is the state of bliss that we have put at the highest state, you know, when I'm able to attain knowledge or right understanding in completeness, that is called as bliss. 
but the process remains the same we have to ultimately start by self exploration and self exploration means that i verify within myself and also live accordingly isn't it living in accordance is an essential part when i am living then only i am able to reflect on my actual competence so these are the universal human values to put in one word okay so the program of action that follows from here as an individual for each one of us is to understand harmony and live in harmony at all levels so one task here is to keep on exploring the proposals we have just started the process you know two and a half days of duration is very short for that but we set in the process and we have to continue the process for that we can attend some more workshops we can attend more meetings we have daily morning sessions in which we keep on exploring and discussing so people come with their own reflection on the proposals they discuss they ask questions and we put forward certain proposals then further we can be aware of our level of competence so one part is to explore to verify to validate and the second thing is to be aware of what i am what is my current level of competence are my feelings naturally acceptable to me are my thoughts in harmony is my expectation you know something based on right understanding this i can always observe and then i can evaluate so self exploration self awareness self evaluation through this process you know my current state keeps on getting purified because i discover my real you know self i discover my pure self pure self means free of any kind of preconditioning or sensation isn't it at the level of society we can have people's education program for adults where we can interact with any section of society so 30 years back or let's say 25 years back when this whole program started whatever occasion we we could get whatever opportunity we could get we start interacting with parents with teachers with policy makers with jail inmates you know with teachers with the students we can sit with the neighbors in the evening and then discuss so this will raise awareness you know in the society regarding the right proposal this is called people's education program now when we bring into formal education it becomes a education sanskar program for which we have the curriculum the courses right from primary to higher education so it is expected that teachers have the right understanding right feeling and they live with definite conduct and then they also participate in the universal order so that they are able to develop such courses such projects and the conducive environment the whole ecosystem for living the right way and followed by this is that why only education why not work in all the five dimensions health justice protection you know all those dimensions exchange so we can conduct workshop for lawyers for bureaucrats for policy makers for is officers even for politicians why not you know <laughs> so such programs can be developed for even you know all sections of people in all dimensions so going by this we can have harmony at every level starting from family to the world family so each one of us is already there in a family we have to start from a family and gradually when the competence develops we are able to see others also as a part of our family now going by this if one person is able to develop in 10 years and in the next 10 years he is able to develop 10 more people then going by that in 100 years we can have 1000 crore people into this process of self exploration everyone trying to understand and live accordingly isn't it so we can set in a process for the whole globe whole planet and this is quite possible in fact just 4 years back when this zoom platform was not there the pandemic had not come this appeared to be a big task now on the <laughs> online platform we can see how easily we can relate to people in just 3 years yeah not 4 even 3 3 years only i'll say we have been able to conduct workshop for more than 1 lakh people rajul bhai will be sharing some data out of which at least 60000 people have got the certificate and getting certificate in online workshop is not so easy also because we have to we keep on asking questions <laughs> you have to keep on responding to polls which is so quite possible if this becomes a part of the education program then it can come down to even 50 years 
only that more and more of faculty members are required and if you are able to work in all the dimensions it can be even faster so it is quite doable actionable isn't it but the onus lies on us we have to start from oneself so yeah so i think rajul bhaiya will now give some insight into the program that is running in all dimensions and the task that has been done and the vision for the future Ji.